How's it going? Ladies and gentlemen. Smoking Tito. And we're smoking today. Today, I have a story time for you. It's about my recent time in jail. I'm not going to tell you what's going on. Because court and all that shit. You feel me? But anyways. I'm going to tell you three separate stories of me being in jail. <clears throat> so the first one would have to be when I'm heading down to the station to Saline County. So we're going to say his name because fuck that guy. Officer Vaughn, he took me to Saline County, booked me in there. He gave me a shitload of charges. And the only reason why I know this, because I was flirting with one of the guards in there. <laughs> she was she was pretty cute, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we was talking for a little bit. And uh, she told me I could get in trouble like that. And I didn't even know. And I was just casually flirting with the... <laughs> With the guard when I first got in, that's crazy. So yeah, then they put me in uh, in this little solitary confinement-looking thing for like uh, to get my ass booked and shit. Bro, that shit took so long. I was like the first one in there that morning, and it was probably the last one to leave to go to the what's the that place called? I don't know where they just put you in a room with a whole bunch of people. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, that was story number one. <laughs> so, this is my second story. It's probably not as funny or anything. It's honestly kind of dramatic, honestly. <coughs> <coughs> so, this is what happened. After I got settled in, started talking to uh, some of the Mexican homies in there. It was my first day, then I went to sleep. Everything was like normal and shit. I was just trying to do something to pass the time, you feel me? Because you have like 24 hours in that bitch, just chilling, bored, watching TV, motherfucking, it was terrible. So this is how the layout was of the room that I was in. I don't know what it's called, cell, holding cell? I don't fucking know, whatever, jail shit. So when you first walk in, there's tables all around. It's basically like fucking school, bro. So there's tables all around in the beginning. There's a big ass plasma TV on top. So you gotta look up and stare at the fucking TV. Terrible. And then, what was the other thing? Oh, there's beds. It's kind of segregated. Some. I don't know how they do it, but it, it is. The colored people are upstairs, and then the white folk are downstairs. <clears throat> Everyone I was locked up with, mostly, was locked up for meth. on some stupid shit. It's fucking crazy. But, that's the layout of the building. The stairs to go up, for the beds up top for the colored people, and, and the white folk downstairs. And there's tables and the TV. That's it. And um, you travel with a whole bunch of people. But to continue the story, I was just trying to show you, trying to picture you the image, right, of what I've seen. But basically, my second night, I was falling asleep. And I had a dream that was in my bed, thinking that I wasn't really in jail. But I was sleeping in my bed. Nope. I was locked up for real. <coughs> <coughs> and yeah, that was kind of traumatizing, bro. Because sometimes I still have dreams that I'm waking up in that motherfucker. It's terrible. But yeah, that's mostly it for that second story. Waking up in the, in the cell, thinking that you're home. Nope. Yeah, 
it's not really that much of a funny fucking story, but that was my second story. It's fucking awful. <laughs> Anyways, so this is my third story. <clears throat> it was my third morning waking up there. It was Monday. And, um, I had breakfast. And then, this is like the only thing I ate, kind of, breakfast. But anyways, I had breakfast. I was the first one to get called out. Bro, I was so happy. I left all my shit up there. I did not care. I just took the pillow with me and wank it. That's fucking literally it. Because I wanted to leave that motherfucker. You hear me? They didn't give me a towel to fucking shower. That was terrible. Like, gang. I wasn't smelling so good. <laughs> Basically. And then I had my homie come pick me up. Took him about like an uh, hour or so. But it's okay because we live like an hour away anyways. And basically I was just stuck there for like an hour. The homie picked me up. Then I bought a charger that didn't even fucking work that day. It was awful. But yeah. That's pretty much what happened in jail. No, I wasn't smoking. You can't smoke in there. But, you know, we just chilling, doing absolutely nothing, hating that place. Fuck that place. I swear, fuck that place. Probably one of the worst jails I've been to. Not because of the people, but just because how it looks in there. It looks terrible. <laughs> but... <coughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe for more content. I was just trying to make a story time.